Welcome back to another episode of Get That Break, guys. So today we're going to be throwing on the rear arms on the nav. We've got some superior gear going in. We're going to get straight into it today, guys. So I'm going to get the ute up on some stands and then unbox these arms, have a bit of a look at them, and see what it takes to get them on. Let's get it cracking. So I'm officially at a point where I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone, but that's okay. It's all about learning. Uh, so we've got the wheels off both sides, we're sitting on jack stands, and the arms we're gonna be replacing today are the lower control arms, the upper control arms, and the pan hard rod. Now, the reason I wanna change these is ever since I took off the side steps, all I can see is this sitting down here. <laughs> This compared to the superior one is, there's no comparison. So all I can think of is that a rock's just gonna smack that and absolutely walk it. So um, we'll upgrade that one. Uh, the upper arms, changing to those because I can feel a really slight vibration when I'm driving around. And I think it's because after I've lifted it, the, um, the angle of the tail shaft is slightly out. Um, not 100% sure, but put an angle finder so we'll figure that out as well and uh, the pan hard rod was just um, I guess probably a no-brainer I might actually have to take my spare wheel out um, but for those wondering the 265 does actually fit underneath just um, but yeah the pan hard rod will change over as well so let's get these unboxed. I gotta say, these arms just feel so much better, stronger. I'm not sitting underneath there at the moment. Um, and didn't realize how heavy these are gonna be as well, so you can tell they're gonna do the job that we need. Uh, so we've got both sides and we've got the pan hard rod. Um, a couple of things I needed to buy that I didn't have is I went and bought a massive breaker bar, because uh, I'm sure these are going to be some tight bolts, uh, the angle finder for the uh, pinion angle, and a ruler just to help measure out a couple of things, so um, I guess now I'm at the stage of taking off the old ones, so uh, we'll do the lower control arms first, because they're pretty simple, just take the old ones out, put the new ones in. Then we'll move to the upper arms and look at adjusting that angle as well. So um, I'll look at the angle before I take the arms out because I've got a feeling it's going to be way out, which is what's causing that slight vibration. Funniest thing ever when I went and bought the breaker bar from Repco, I went up to the counter and the dude was just like, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm so sorry in advance. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, well, you come in here, all you buy is a breaker bar and you're leaving, so you must have a big bolt <laughs> to undo. So, hilarious. Uh, should have shared it to the guy at Repco in Toowoomba. Oh. Big one, holy shit. Here we have one standard lower control arm. So let's put this next to the new one. Oh man huge difference in weight. I reckon this one has to be twice as heavy as that one. So I don't believe there's any right or wrong one to use. Um, you can use any of them because they're not angled or anything. They're both straight. Um, so, why don't we just grab one and chuck it in? 
So we'll chuck this one in, then we'll go around the other side and do the other one. One thing I should note as well is that I'm not tightening these while it's up in the air still. When it's anything to do with like a bush, well, probably anything, you should do it when it's back down on the ground under its full weight. If you do it when it's not under its full weight, then you can ruin your bushes and put it under tension that it need, doesn't need to be under and probably shouldn't be under. Yeah, that's a hot tip. It's there, I'm just doing it up enough so that they don't go anywhere. And then when it's back down on the ground on its wheels, I'll do them back up and then torque them to spec as well. probably been about two hours since I last was filming anything so I was putting the other side on and it wouldn't line up and I couldn't figure it out and I was like what the hell and I thought huh maybe they sent me the wrong arm but the arms lined up perfectly with the standard ones and I was like what the hell so I thought the only thing I've changed is put the new arm in this side so I'll take this arm out but then what happened is because I took both lower arms out the diff moved slightly that way so I couldn't get it either of them on so I sat here for hours just going fuck I've stuffed up here and then thought there's a lot of smart people out there let's ask Instagram and then I mean, Sam Schlade comes to the rescue and says why don't you just chuck a ratchet strap on the diff to the body pull it together slightly so just enough because it is sitting on the jacks so um, ever so slightly just to get it to that get it to fit so thank you Sam if you are watching this um, oh that was so frustrating literally like a 20 minute job has taken me hours so but learning learning lots of things as I go so let me actually finish this now <sighs> nothing ever goes to plan Both arms are now in. It is gonna storm something chronic here, so I'm gonna call that a day. <laughs> I had every intention in my head to get all of those arms on in a few hours, and it just didn't. It just didn't happen. So uh, I'm gonna get the wheels back on, lower it, tighten, tighten those lower ones up, and then come back at this tomorrow. So good. Times, good times. So I'll see you in the morning. Two thousand years later. All right, we're back in the garage. It's actually a couple of days in the future, so we're ready to do the upper arms now. So these are adjustable upper arms from Superior, and pretty much what that means is you can adjust the angle of your um, tail shaft into your diff, your, I believe it's called the pinion angle. Um, so pretty much the angle that's coming out of your gearbox should match the angle that enters your rear diff. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but that's the, the gist I get of it. Um, and when you lift your car, that angle can be slightly off. So um, I'll have to figure out if the angle is out, like how much do I have to adjust the length uh, to bring it back because uh, you can't actually do it on the vehicle with these ones because this will actually spin and everything but undoing these and then this is gonna spin to change your length and then when you're ready to tighten it up yeah bring them both back together and tighten them up so something like something like that but again much stronger um, and 
heavier than the standard one. So let's get this jacked back up and get these installed. So we want this angle here on that, just using the shield. So just gonna zero it out. down here to compare the angle change a plan with this angle finder because it's got this bit of a groove in it it's actually kind of annoying and throwing the angle out a little bit um, but I've just zeroed it out again at the other end and I'm using the non magnetic side so it doesn't try and pull into that grip so about 2.4 out so not as bad as it <laughs> I was reading before because it was slipping into that which is reading it way out so yeah if I uh, do it properly a little bit out but so taking the old arms out, it's just got the speed sense wire sitting on top, so you can take that out. And a couple of bolts here, a couple of bolts there. I am assuming these are gonna be a pain like the other ones, but let's find out. between this and the other one is insane like incredible I will make these the same length and then because I believe I need to roll the diff that way ever so slightly I will make it a touch smaller and then pop that in and then see if that works. I might need to do what I did the other day with the diff, with the ratchet strap to bring it slightly in, because it'll be slightly out. So I'll get these the same size. Got them the same length, so I got the bolt on each side. And now I'm gonna make it, I'm only gonna go like one rotation smaller, just to test it and see if that makes a difference. And then if it does, use the size of that for the other one and we should be cooking with gas, so um, I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but kind of just making it up as I go. I feel like someone's gonna watch this and just think what the hell's this guy doing with a ratchet strap, but anyway. Um, so this was two turns two rotations tighter or shortening the length and still about one and a half degree out. I'm gonna go another two rotations to shorten it again. Then I reckon we might be very, very, very close. I would be closer than I was before anyway. Um, but what I've done as well, just kind of messing with my OCD a little bit, but um, I just made sure that the part that's adjustable is on this side. Um, because then you can just lift it up, spin it, put it back in. Whereas if it was down there, you couldn't really do it on that side. But now it's messing with my OCD because it's superior and then the Aussie made symbol are on different sides. But anyway, that's just my own OCD that's getting thrown out of whack. But so I'll give this another couple of rotations and I'll probably have to pull on this a bit. Um, if you do do this, please remember that I'm not a mechanic. I have no idea. I'm like, I'm making this up as I go. Um, 
just be super careful because obviously it's sitting on the jacks and you're pulling it ever so slightly just to line that up. So just just remember, be careful. Um, but also, I, yeah, I have no idea if this is what you're meant to do. So yeah, you have been warned. So I've been staring at this for the past couple of minutes and I've just been thinking that I'm gonna put a pin in this idea only because I don't want anyone on the internet to be watching this and think, well, that guy did it so I can do it. And then the um, then they try it with the ratchet straps and then it comes crumbling off the jacks and everything. So um, yeah, please don't try this at home. But um, what I've just done is where I've got it there now, it's pretty close on the angle. Um, let me see if I can show you guys. <laughs> Well, it's better than it was before anyway. In fact, I don't know, it helps if I hold it correctly on it, doesn't it? So we're about a degree out, which before it was, ugh, um, it was about two or so. But yeah, this is getting just a little bit too sketchy and kind of want to set a good example of knowing when to um, call it and take it to, I guess, a professional who will be able to adjust it properly on like a hoist or something. So, um, so yeah, I could do it ever so slightly, but yeah, it's getting a little bit too sketchy with the, the ratchet strap and everything for me. Good times. So that was a bit of a ramble, wasn't it? But anyway, um, I'll use this for the length of the other one now and get the other one chucked in. Happy days. Now that I've got those in there, I will chuck the wheels back on, then tighten everything up, talk it up to spec, and last but not least, pen hard. So we'll get that one in as well. So we're getting there, making progress. Sketchiest. So I thought I would show you guys the diagrams that I found online on navlife.com. Uh, they're super handy exploded diagrams which pretty much show you what torque settings to use when tightening everything up. So you can see with the wheel nuts it needs 133 newton meters of torque. And we've got for the upper and lower arms, so on the chassis we need 195 newton meters of torque and on the diff we need 165 and I'm not gonna lie, 195 newton meters of torque is a lot of torque. <laughs> I mean, it was very hard to get the uh, um, get that setting dialed in. So, and for the pan hard rod, it's 135 newton meters of torque on the diff and 165 on the body. Super handy diagrams. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff on navlife.com. So, if you're not familiar with it, I jump on there and I'll chuck the link in the description for these manuals that I've used as well. All right, we are back on all four wheels now. So with the pan hard rod, it's going to adjust where the diff sits left and right, I guess you could say. So it's orientation to the center of the vehicle. Now just to check this out, see if it does need adjusting. Got a bit of the rack the head sitting here and it doesn't even have a fingers length there obviously 
if you had two free hands, you would use a measuring tape. Um, but then over here, you can see that doing the same thing, I can fit my finger in there. So, it ever so slightly, about a centimeter or so, needs to go towards the driver's side. Um, yeah, um, obviously, if you have not holding a camera, you can get your ruler out and all this sort of stuff and figure out the exact length, which I will do off camera. And then I'll get the old one out, new one in. I use the ratchet strap technique that I think everybody has seen on JP Capture's channel, holding the diff to the body to then remove some of that tension to get the old one out. So I took my spare out to get some more room happening in here. So I'll undo these, so you've got this one, and down this end as well. We'll stick it next to the other one, the new one, make it the same length, and then I'll make it longer because I want to push the body to the passenger side. Just, just a smidge. Getting incredibly light compared to that. So I'll adjust these to the same length, an extra 10 mil, extra 10 mil bigger. So I double check myself and it's not 10 mil that I'm adjusting this by, it's five mil. So I wanna go five mil greater because it's gonna push it that way, five mil, which should then make it all plumb. So that's what I'm going with. Um, if I get it wrong, I get it wrong and I'll readjust from there, but get this one chucked back in now, see what happens. Oh, she's pretty close. I probably went a little bit too far. We might just bring it back one rotation. Oh man, fun and games. Fun and games. She's starting to look a little bit spicy underneath here down, boys. Bloody hell. All right, so as I said a bit earlier, I'll have to take it to a suspension place or something to get the upper arms adjusted ever so slightly. Yeah, other than that, um, I learned a shitload from this episode. Um, I was putting a bit of this video together the other night and I thought, man, I should just edit this so I don't look like such a such a noob. <laughs> um, but I am a noob. Like I've never changed control arms on a vehicle ever before in my life, let alone like adjusted angles of discs and all that sort of shit. So um, learned a shitload doing this myself. Yeah, if you wanna have a crack at this yourself, I'd yeah, thoroughly recommend it. Thanks so much for watching this episode, guys. If you wanna support the channel, please hit the subscribe button. But otherwise, I will see you in the next episode. Um, don't know what we're doing yet. There's a couple of things I've got it sitting on the shelf, so. See you in that one, peace. Motherfucker, I've been mortified, fortified, fitting like a motor car. I ain't regular, feel like Jordan wearing 45. Traumatized, victimized, seen some of my niggas die. Knock you off a base with a bat when them niggas slide. Homicide, genocide, televised, emphasize, perpetuating war. Tell that nigga he gon' pick a side. Hood ties from hood.